All right, on to another tournament. This time it's a horseshoe. This is an $80 mega satellite. Starts at 7 p.m. And there will be multiple entries given away to play in a much larger tournament this weekend. So you can win a satellite ticket for 80 bucks into a tournament that costs $660 to play in. So pretty massive. There's a lot of expected entries in this mega satellite because of the Chicago Poker Classes winter warm-up, which is going on. So I thought I'd give it a shot. I'm going to implement a new strategy, a new game, most of which incorporates all my normal skills, but at a much higher skill set with some tricks in play, such as reading the board texture, being a bit more strategic with entering pots and playing specific hands, and especially being patient the first two hours. Not overplaying ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine even. Um, and being very careful to play ace jack or even ace 10. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> upper tier hands, upper, upper tier hands, uh, not ent entering the mid range hands until uh, my position is right. Um, other strategies I'm going to look out for is the apex and keep an eye on how people, how long people look at their cards. If they look at them a long time, chances are they have a weaker starting hand. If they look at them fairly quickly, chances are they have a pocket pair or an ace king or suited connectors or even ace queen or ace 10 or ace jack. Um, so I hope to win a ticket. Booyah! I busted out with an eighth ace three suited of clubs. I was at the button. Everyone folded around except for one player who called the button like $1,200. And flop came and I flopped a pair of threes unfortunately I got way overconfident and stupid and thought I was like some professional reader staring at the guy who called me who unbeknownst to me is sitting there with the nuts so what do I do? I go all in. Down to 15 players. The top eight are in the money with a ticket, etc., etc. Extremely disappointed in that move. I won't do it again. It's a compulsive move. And I've got this history of being compulsive in the fourth or fifth hour of these tournaments with these, these ace and low cards. The only play for me to make there is to check. Check and fold to any raise. I'm sitting there with an ace three, a pair of threes. It's a great example of not digesting the information in front of me. There's a reason this guy got in the hand. There's a reason. You ignored that reason. You paid no fucking attention to it. You didn't even acknowledge it. Instead, you assume that he's got nothing. And you go all in like an idiot to try and get him off the hand. And what does he turn over? Pocket aces. So what have you learned from this? Number one, check. Don't risk your tournament life 
you're, you're getting close to the bubble. Number two, don't have confidence in ace and a low card. Number three, don't pretend to think that you are an expert reader. In fact, you misread the guy. I don't even think he looked at the flop because he's already got the nuts. He doesn't even care what the flop was. He was calling no matter what I did, he was calling. Probably would have come over the top and gone all in on me and then I would have folded. If you want to make money, if you want a trophy, you cannot be compulsive. It's stupid. You're either learning or you're regressing. I do believe I'm learning. I really, really do. I seem to play well in the middle of tournaments and horrible in the beginning and towards the end. On the positive end, I slow played pocket aces very well and got the guy right next to me to go all in with pocket jacks and I got 4,000 off him. On the other hand, I went all in with two pair on the flop just like random 10-7 because I was at the button. You got to be very, very careful with these buttons, man. But I went all in and everyone folded. I won some other hand with king seven, just t total pure luck. Trying to steal the blinds, and a guy called me with ace queen. And the flop gave me a pair of sevens and did not pair him up, and I won. I doubled my chip stack, I think, in that hand. I went from seven to four, 7,000 to, to 14,000, something like that. Um. I want to mention this too, because this I also was effective. I folded pocket nines, I folded pocket fours. Um, at some point, I had pocket eights, which I won with. I went all in, and people folded. I went all in with ace king, and people folded as well. Um. What else I do positive? I avoided bidding in sticky situations with really skilled players, which Evan has taught me. Stay out of their fucking way. Um, I took the information most of the tournament and digested well that there's a reason people are raising. Don't think people are bluffing. These guys rarely are bluffing. Um wanted to mention all that folding low pocket pair and I was very skilled at using my positioning at the table constantly aware of my position it whether I'm in early position middle position or late position and trying to use that late position to my advantage to steal blinds which I did well with a few all-ins um, and the one that, you know, doubled my chip stack was, was an example of all that, where I had king seven, and I went all in. Unfortunately, I didn't plan on the guy calling me, but he did, but I beat him. So that was kind of interesting how oh, that came about, you know. Coin flip, I guess. Well, he had ace queen, I had king seven suited. Um, that's all I got to say.